Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jan Simon Kirchhoff. I am an MBA student of Linn University and this presentation will focus on a sports company, Hertha BSC. Hertha BSC is located in Berlin in the Bundesliga team. Recently, it faces times of dynamics because Lars Windhorst has just invested more than 250 million in this club. But before telling you more about this, I will first show you a table of contents. So as you can see, I will tell you facts about Hertha BSC, what the, cl what the club stands for, what its values are, what its mission and goals are, and I will also tell you its current difficulties. Last but not least, I will show you my two marketing proposals, which are investing in public relations and to connect the club with the city. But as you know, we have a written report. I will go more in depth into that and show you more marketing proposals. Okay. So interesting facts about Hertha. Hertha BSC, as I said, is a Berlin sports club that is not only a soccer club, but also invests in sports such as boxing and um, table tennis. But its primarily focus is the first team of soccer. Um, it is the biggest sport, it's the biggest sport club in Berlin by having 47,500 club members. And it's one of the biggest 15 clubs in Germany. It plays in the historic Olympia Stadium, which you can see over here, which is located in the center of Berlin. It hosts more than 75,000 seats, which is a huge capacity in the Bundesliga. It is a very historic building because it was built for the Summer Olympics in 1936. As I said, Hertha BST just has a new investor since 2019. Mr. Windhorst has invested more than 250 million in this club and became the biggest shareholder of having 49.9%. His ultimate goal is to transform this sports team into a global brand and compete in the Champions League. Therefore, he has to be one of the best four teams in Germany. Here you can see the values of Hertha BSC. This is a statement of their web page, and I will now read it to you. We are West, East, and everything in between. We are a capital and global city, and we love every district. Here, anything and everyone can be the next big thing. We defend our values and tear down walls. Our road to success will always be a roller coaster ride. We are Berlin's oldest startup and we redefine ourselves every day. We are Hertha Berlin since 1892. I want to point out two main things on that slide in this, in this statement. First, they state, we are West and East and a global city. You have to understand Germany's and Berlin's history because the city and the country have been divided for many years. In 1989, the, the wall broke down and people were able to see each other again, no matter if they're from West or Berlin, or from West or East. So this being said, I think it's a very important value because the club demonstrates that they are open and appealing to absolutely everyone, no matter if you're from West or East Berlin or if you are a global citizen. The second point is the last sentence. We are Hertha Berlin since 1892. So this club tries to demonstrate that they're a very historic club with a lot of values. And I think this mixture of being a historic club that values its, its history, but also being a global city and that is open for absolutely everyone is a good mix in my, in my opinion. So now you can see that Hertha BC is facing current difficulties, such as struggling to compete in the European level. The Bundesliga com uh, consists of 18 teams and only the best four teams are able to compete in the UEFA Champions League. As I said prior, this is the main goal of Hertha BSC in the long term, but the league is highly competitive, so it's not easy. The second difficulty is COVID-19. Obviously, the pandemic is a huge problem for many organizations, but also for soccer clubs. Hertha BSC is hosting home games maybe 20 to 25 home games each season. For each single home game, they increase the revenue by 2 million, 2 million euros. The third difficulty is filling out the capacity of the stadium. The stadium has more than 75,000 seats and Hertha does not fill out the seats only if they play against Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. This is a problem and the club thinks about investing in a new stadium where they can fill out the whole capacity. 
The last difficulty is the Leagues 50 plus 1 rule. It is the only league in Europe where the majority of votes has to be owned by the club and its members. So no matter how much or how big the investment of Mr. Windhorst is, he will never gain more than 49%, 9% of the club. This is a fear for many investors and that's why some leagues are more interesting and more appealing to investors. These are Hertha BSC mission and targets for the near future. They want to gain competitiveness in the Bundesliga and establish themselves to become one of the best four teams in Germany and therefore being able to compete in the UEFA Champions League. Therefore they can play internationally and this will help them to enter global markets, increase revenue and ultimately become a global player in international markets. But the key for success is to gain competitiveness in the Bundesliga. Now I will demonstrate my marketing proposals. As I said prior, there are many marketing proposals in my written report in which I go into depth. But here I just show you two marketing proposals, which are public relations and to connect Hertha BSC with the image of Berlin. So in my eyes, I see three, three markets where Hertha BSC could step into. The first market is the Asian Chinese market. It's very appealing and interesting and gives a lot of opportunities because China is very interesting in the business of soccer and has just invested roughly $2 billion in the soccer industry. The second market is the US American market, which includes the United States, Canada and Mexico. Soccer is growing and gets the intention of many people and therefore it is an interesting market to step into. The third market is the North African market with Beirut, but also Dubai and the Emirates. So as you might know, the next World Cup will be hosted in Qatar in 2022. These countries are also very interested in the business of soccer and has just started it. But in my eyes, I believe that the most interesting market will be the Asian Chinese market. It's a huge population. They, they invest so heavily in soccer that they will be a clear, they will, they will be dominating in the next, next 10 to 20 years. Okay, so my first marketing proposal is to invest in public relations to create a win-win situation. For instance, this is my roughly idea. In order to create a win-win situation, they can have or build up a relationship with a Chinese soccer team that has just invested in soccer. So, for instance, you could send German coaches that have roughly 20 to 30 experience in the world of soccer send them to China so that they have the knowledge and can gain from it. In turn, they could send Chinese players to Germany that, that, and the Chinese players could get some experience and then later could go back to China and show the experience that they gained. Another idea is to sign well-known foreign players. I listed three examples. Son from South Korea plays for Tottenham. Neymar, a Brazilian player, plays for Paris Saint-Germain and James Rodriguez, a Colombian player, played for Bayern Munich, Real Madrid and plays now in the Premier League for Everton. Of course, these are just examples. The players are extremely expensive, but they bring in a huge fan base. So if you and your team consists of many international players, consider that they bring in fan bases, which helps you to tap into new markets. Once Hertha BSC reached the goal to play in the Champions League, you could spend the increased revenue that you gain from it on the preseason. So far, Hertha's preseason is either domestically in Berlin or they go to South Germany, Austria, or Turkey. They do not gain fans and friends over there. So you could spend the money in investing in preseason abroad, for example, in China, have the preseason there, play against domestic teams, play against Chinese, uh, Chinese teams, and just establish yourself as a global brand. My second idea is to connect the club with the city and I think that this is failing so far. If you think about Bayern Munich, you already hear the word Munich and you think about South Germany, the state and I think this Hertha is failing so far. If you ask someone what does Hertha stand for, they don't even know what BSC means for Berlin Sport Club. So I think you need to find a way to create an image of Hertha BSC 
together with the city. Maybe include the Brandenburg Gate or the Berlin Bear on the jersey, so you have, you have a vision about that. So Berlin is a global city, it increases its population year by year, and I think that this, is, this brings in many chances. So here you can see my references. I hope that you enjoyed my presentation, learned about the fantastic sports team, and we will see how happy the BSC will do in the future. Thank you.